Hi friends, Tiffany here. Welcome to my quilting life. So today is the last video of blocks being made for this 25 patch block series. So this is the last two blocks of this series. I could go on and on and on and on and on and on and on, but I don't want to. I wanted to stop at 90 and I've made a couple extra only because, you know, boo-boos or filming problems. So this is the last video of making the blocks. The next video you will see will be a review of all the blocks, just in case you missed something if you were following along or you've not seen all the videos yet, but you want to try a block. I will be able to link you with what block goes in what video so that you can go to that video and find how to make it. So with all that being said, this is the final piecing of the blocks video. I thank you guys all for hanging around this whole entire time, but the next couple videos, we're going to start putting this together. So I hope you enjoy and I will see you in my next video. Bye. All right, let's get to block one of today's video. It looks like this. It's like an alien spaceship. No, 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 no. Anyways, it is six colors. So we need four aqua, which is these out here. There's four aqua. Then we need six orange. I don't have orange, so I'm replacing it with a red. Then I need nine pink, which is this. And then I need 10 green, which is obviously the focus. And then six purple. Six purple. And seven blue. Seven blue. There we go. So now we need to make some combinations. This is the harder part because we have to pull, like we've done before in the past, we have to pull the ones that go with each other. Everything is a half square triangle here. So we're going to start with. The aqua goes with the orange, one aqua with one orange, one aqua with one orange. So this is my orange. It's going with an aqua. This one is going with an aqua. So those two, I'm just going to set them aside. Then we have the other aqua two with a purple. Aqua and purple. Aqua and purple. Then we have orange and pink. So this is my orange. And I'm going to do two of them, orange and pink. So orange and pink. None of this goes together, but this is what I'm working with, guys. <laughs> and then we have next row, another orange and pink, orange and pink. So right here and right here. Then we have, we're working with pink and green. So we're going to do one, two, three, four of those. Two, three, four, two, one, two, three, and four. Those are going to go together. What do we have one pink left over for? Oh, because we have this right here. Duh. So we have a quarter square triangle at the top. I'm going to set that aside. And a cutoff from the green will be the other part of that. I knew I counted properly. All right, now we're going to move on to two greens stay out, three greens stay out from this row. And we have green and blue. So let's do one and two, like that. And then this other green is for the quarter square triangle, I think. I don't know. Green and blue, green and blue. That was the only one. So let's just move it aside for now. Then we have purple and blue. So we have one, two, three, four purple and blue. That should be four of these. Yep. And one, two, three, and four of those. And I think my extras are for my quarter square triangle. That's what this piece is. It's going to be down here because I need a hole cut for that. All right, so we're going to take all these groupings over to the sewing machine and we're going to start making half square triangles. We're going to be, you can either press or draw your line so you can press it right sides together like this. Or I mean wrong sides together, press it wrong sides together. You know how many times I say this in these videos and you know what I mean. 
Oi, oi, oi. Last video, and I'm already saying the wrong thing. So that we have a line. You can see that line. Very prominent. Easy to see. Or you can draw your line. Or like me, I'm going to be using seam tape. So let's go over to the machine and start making some half square triangles. So here we are at the machine. We're just going to start making half square triangles with all of our groupings. Okay, so I'm going to just slide mine from corner to corner. These are two and a half inch squares and I want them to stay two and a half inch. So I'm just going to sew them right sides together, corner to corner. And I am going to go ahead and fast forward this part and I'm going to meet you back at trimming away because we are going to need a couple trimmings and I want to show you how that works. Now, according to this chart, I need two pieces that are going to need to be quarter square triangles. So I'm going to need a green small, a blue small, a pink small, and a green small. So I'm going to find something that has a green and that also has a blue. And then, so those are going to be my two smalls for my green and blue. And then I need a pink and green combo. I think we have one right here, pink and green combo. There we go. And I'm going to get those two pieces off of that. So what we're going to do is just these two right here. I'm going to go ahead and instead of trimming on the quarter inch line, and this is why I used blue thread for this, so you can see, I am going to trim before it. So between the one eighth and the quarter inch line, I'm going to line up my ruler. You see that? It's not exactly on the quarter inch for a quarter inch seam. I'm lining it up before the quarter inch line between the eighth of an inch and the quarter inch line. So I'm going to line that up just like this and I am going to cut that away. So that leaves these two pieces big enough. So I'm going to do that again. I need those two and I'm going to move that to the side. I'm going to do that again between the eighth and the quarter just like that. And you can still see I have plenty of seam allowance, no big deal. Now we're going to take these two pieces. We're going to sew all this before I trim the rest of these and iron. We're going to grab the blue piece because I need a half of that. And then up here, we need this pink piece because I need the other half of that. What we're going to do is take from corner to corner right here and line it up on a line on my mat. Then I'm going to take my quarter inch line right here. And I'm going to line that up on the line that I'm cutting a quarter inch away from the point, just like that. So I'm going to do that again on this pink one. So lining it up from corner to corner on a line on my mat, put my quarter inch line on that line, and then cut a quarter inch away like that. So I still have my little cutoffs. But now I have full size pieces that I need to create my two and a half inch square. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the pink as a whole one. And then we got a pink right here. It's going to go there. And a green is going to go here. So we're going to hook these together and that onto that. So I'm going to place these over by the sewing machine and I'll show you in a second. So we're going to make that combo. And then for down here, we're going to make this other combo. So we have this one sits like this. The blue is going to sit like that and the green is going to sit like that. So we're going to hook these two together and then hook them to this. So I'm going to take these to the machine and we're going to sew these before I trim anything else. So I'll meet you at the machine. Okay, here we are at the machine. I'm going to put my seam guide on here because it's easier for me. And it's a scant quarter inch is fine. That's what I'm doing. I'm going to put these two right sides together just like this. And I'm going to line this end up in here and sew on that side. Then I'm going to press it 
to one side or the other. It really doesn't matter. Actually, I think I'm going to press all these seams open just for the heck of it during this video. We're going to see what an all open seam quilt will do. All right, it's pressed open. Now we're going to add this side. I'm going to lay this right sides together like this. And you can see that this piece now is exactly the same size. Usually this back one is a little bit bigger, but this time it's exactly the same size and I have a quarter inch sticking out on both sides. So I'm going to go ahead now and sew down this. Just like that, you can see my seam stayed open. I'm going to go ahead and press it towards an open seam. I'm going to press it towards an open seam. I'm going to open my seam. And you can use your little pressing tools if you need to just for this. I'm trying not to pull on it too much because it is a bias seam. I'm just lining it up, pressing it nice and flat so that when I go to the iron, it'll be nice and flat. So there's an open one there. All right, let's do the second set. Again, it's going to be sitting like this. So we're going to put these two under first, just like this, right sides together. We're going to sew. I'm going to open the seam. I know this is going to be the part that takes me forever, but you know, this is the last video at all for this series. All right, so this is nice and open. Good enough. <laughs> I got some threads sticking out of it. There we go. We're going to stick these two right sides together. And you can see on this one, it's a little bit bigger. If it's a hair bigger, which is good because trimming it down is better than not being the right size, you can see that I'm going to line that corner up with the corner right here. See that? We're going to turn this around and make sure that that seam stays open because it's not wanting to. And I'm going to sew this side with a quarter inch seam. And then when I open this up, I have quarter square triangle. So again, I'm going to just finger press for now. Use the tool if you need or a roller if you have a roller, or just take it to the iron right away. Press that open. So these I'm going to press and then we'll trim them to two and a half inches. But for now, let's go back into fast forward with some music while I trim and open the seam of every single half square triangle for this video. have it. 
I'm going to take these two quarter squares and I'm going to trim them to two and a half inches. Line it up nicely. Now you also watched in time lapse how long that took me to uh, press all these seams open. <laughs> now you know why I don't do that really ever. I think it takes too long. All right, let's trim this one to two and a half inches. They are literally almost exact. Like it's like perfect almost every time. And trim this one. I mean, it's just little minute amounts that are being trimmed off. I can see. And the dog ears came off. All right. Now let's lay this block out because it is ready. First off, here's my center. I know that. And here is my bottom, just like that. So we have that and that. Now we need to just figure all this out. So this is my bottom here. Purple is going to go up like that. And then in between, we're going to have purple down and blue with purple down that way. So we're going to build from the bottom, I guess, this time. Then we're going to take the blue and purple combo again and put it like this and over here like that. Then it's the blue and green combo, like this, blue and green combo like that. And then we're going to have a solid green right here. Then a pink and green combo like this and a pink and green combo over here like that. Oops. Yeah. Pink out. Pink out like this. Then we're going to have one, two, that, and then a plain blue in the center. I knew I missed a count. So actually on this one, blue gets eight pieces. And I've been writing it down on these. Blue gets eight. I need to find one real quick. Hold on. Yep, that was right. It needed eight. So that blue goes right there in the center. Okay. Now the next line is Red is my orange, remember that, is the orange and pink combo, this, and then green and pink combo, green and pink combo, like that, and then a solid green again. Then we're going to put the top hat up there, this is so cool looking. <laughs> then we have the pink and orange going here, and turn that around, there. And then last but not least, right here and right there with the orange and the whatever combo. <laughs> the aqua. That's what it was. Aqua. <laughs> Look at that block. That looks so cool. Anyway, we're going to take row one and row two. And we're going to put these right sides together. Remember, I pressed all my seams open, which took a lot longer. <sighs> but they're all open, so there's going to be no conflicting seams. I didn't want to have to say which way was what, and I didn't want to deal with flipping seams. But I would have. But for now, we pressed it open so that you can see it takes too long. <laughs> we're going to slow down that right side. And then we're going to open them up and add the next row, the next row, and the next row. And we're going to leave them all hooked together. So let's go to the machine and start this. Here we are at the machine. We're going to take our first and second piece from row one and two. We're going to slide those through, leave them connected. Then we're going to go to the second piece, leave them connected. The third, slide it through, leave it connected. You kind of get the picture by now. <laughs> and the fourth. And the fifth. Let's line it up just a little bit better. Now, I'm not going to worry about pressing my seams open. I'm just going to go to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left, and to the right. And then we're going to add the first one from the third column, leaving everything together. And we're going to keep repeating this until they are all hooked together. So I'm going to go ahead and put you back and fast forward while I sew this together.
Okay, so now that it is together, you can see nothing is out of order. Now I just need to sew the bottom to this one, these two to the third one, flip it around and sew this and that. So I'm just gonna show you. I'm gonna just nest my seams because I did not press these ones open. Uh, I don't wanna take that extra time. Just gonna sew them. The seams should nest right up because every single block is should be the same exact size. So it should land nicely on top of each other the whole way down. I'm just gonna go ahead for now and finger press this towards the left, just like that. And we're gonna put these two on top of that and I'm gonna repeat that process till this is done and then I'm gonna press it. But I'm gonna put you in fast forward with the music while I do this and I'll meet you back when the block is finished. Very vibrant. <laughs> Definitely kind of like the picture, minus the orange. But if this was in solid colors, it would probably look a lot better. It's definitely cool. And if you were to make a ton of these blocks where one faces this way, and then the next one faces that way, and then the next one faces this way, and so on and so forth, oh, that would be so cool. Anyway, so, well, at least I think it would be cool. This is 10 and a half and 10, it's a little short. It's a little short. It's almost ten and a half. It's it's close, 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 close. You can see my seams flipped either way. It wasn't my fault. I just wasn't paying attention. Maybe I don't know. But it doesn't lay as flat. Honestly, I think the open seams is not laying as flat as if they weren't open. I don't know. Um, to me, it just seems like it's kind of thick still. Unless I would have pressed every seam open, then it probably would be flatter. I guess. Anyway. There is the first block for today's video. Let's get on to the second. All right, for the second and final block in this 25 patch series, it is a three color block. I did not have the correct colors, but I do have the correct colors, at the, at just not enough of certain ones. So we need 20 red, 20 red. We need 17 blue. For that, I'm going to be using this. It's white with blue speckles, so good enough. And then for the purple, we need 10 of them. I'm going to use the blue because I didn't have, you know, 17 of these. So that's going to be what we use. This whole thing, except for a couple of the blue, which would be these, is going to be half square triangles. So we're going to pull out three. One, two, three, two, and three. The rest of all this is going to be half square triangles. So we need to determine how many of what. So the purple, which is my blue and the blue, which is this white, we need one, two, one, two, one, and two. That's a combo. Then the red and purple combo. So we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is blue, this is red, and this is purple. We need eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So we just need to pull, there was eight left of those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight so those are combos and then last would be these so we're going to make sure real quick there's one two three four five six one two three four five six that'd be 12. that looks like 12. that looks like 12. why not <laughs> let's go to the machine and i'm just going to put you in fast forward because you already know you draw a line from top from one corner to the other or you can press them wrong sides together just smush it down with your finger Oops, you can't even see down there. And you get a line. Or you can draw your line or seam tape, which is what I'll be using. So let's go sew these in fast forward with some music.
I pressed all of these towards the blue, which would have been the purple. And then I pressed all these towards the what would have been the blue. But I have supplemented for this white. So let's lay this block out. It starts out with what is a purple, which is this light blue for me, in each corner like this. And then we have three of these going down. It's fully in the screen for you all, just like this. Then my purple, which would be this purple and red combo, purples are facing inward. No, this is purple outward, sorry, purple outward. See, look at me, a red will face out. See, I confuse myself when I switch the colors up sometimes, but that is okay. So these go on the outsides like that. So now all we have to do is fill it in with this. So my red is still red. So all I need to do is just lay these out blue this way. Okay, reds are out, out. This, 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 that's what happens when I switch out the color. And we're gonna go to this side, put all what would be my blue towards the inner side, just like that and like that. So there's the block, ooh, that looks really cool. We're gonna take now and sew this. We're first gonna make sure that it looks like the picture. It looks like the picture, yes it does. At least I had one color that matches, right? <laughs> We're going to take row one and row two. We're going to put them right sides together. Like this. And hopefully there shouldn't be any touching seams. So I don't think that's going to matter because you could see this seam is here and this one is there. I don't think anything is going to touch. That's why I just pressed them the way I did. We're going to sew down the right side of that and then we're going to open them up and so on the third, fourth, and fifth row. But again, I'm just gonna put you in to fast forward while I do that with some music and I'll meet you when the block is together. I have the hiccups, sorry. I'll meet you when the block is together.
Okay. There we have it. Oh, let's turn it the way the photo. There we go. Now, I prefer the drawing better, but I do like the block. I just should have chose a different one because it's kind of dizzying. If I would have chose maybe a solid red or a different red, it would have been a lot better. But I would like to see it in my original colors with the red, the purple, and the blue. But, you know, like, you know, we don't always have the colors that we're looking for. And you could switch your colors up as long as the block comes out flat. And in my case, it's not only flat, but it is 10 and a half. And, well, it's a smidge bigger than 10 and a half, but it will do. So there's the drawing and there's the block. I like it, especially if a ton of these were made. Now, if you do make a ton of these, I would say not to do the half square triangle method that I've been doing this whole entire series. I'm just saving my cutoffs. But I would say if you did do a ton of these to make your half square triangles out of a bigger. So if you wanted two and a half inch blocks again, just use a three inch or a two and three, two and seven eighths inch square. So, you know, draw a line. So both sides of the two and seven eighths inch square, cut them in half and you'll have a bunch of two and a half inch pieces, but, or you can use a equal number, which would be three inch and then just trim all the half square triangles down when you're done. And you can do this in any size. This would actually kind of be cool using a layer cake if you wanted and every block be different. And then you just turn each block, you know, as you go. Um, I think that would be pretty cool and every color would be mixed up through all of it and you would just do the eight at a time half square triangle method or the 16 at a time half square triangle method. Those can all be found on Missouri Star Quilt Company, their videos. Anyway, let's see what both blocks look like together. All right, there's both blocks from today's video. Here is the drawing in case you want to screenshot the drawings. So we got a three color and a six color. So you can screenshot those or there is the block. So you could take a screenshot of those. Both of these would look really cool as a whole entire quilt. Like I said, um, play with your colors with this one. It's a really cool block. It would be definitely fun. Uh, if you do it in a bigger size and again mixing the blocks up from like using a layer cake would be even more cooler because it would just you know it'd be scrappy and you wouldn't have to worry about it and just use this as like an accent color throughout the whole entire thing and then put it all together that would be super cool so there's both the blocks don't forget to like this video on your way out don't forget to subscribe if you're new and check out the videos that are popping up on the screen because you might want to watch them thank you bye